In the George Zimmerman murder trial, an emotional and very difficult day for the prosecution's star witness who was talking with Trayvon Martin just before he was shot. She got a grilling from the defense, and ABC's Matt Gutman is in Sanford, Florida, with a look at it all. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Josh. Analysts tell us that Rachel Gentel's testimony is the biggest thing standing between George Zimmerman and an acquittal. That's because she says Zimmerman followed and then confronted Martin that night. It's one reason his defense team worked so relentlessly to discredit her. For the second straight day, George Zimmerman's attorney kept Rachel Gentel up on the stand in order to tear her down. That's why you didn't do anything. It was because Trayvon Martin started the fight and you knew that. Action, compound question, badgering the witness. <laughs> Gentel was on the phone with Trayvon Martin in the seconds before neighborhood watchman George Zimmerman shot him. The prosecution's star witness says Martin told her he was being followed and that she then heard Zimmerman confront him. During a heated cross-examination lasting more than five hours... Are you claiming in any way that you don't understand English? I understand you. Zimmerman's legal team tried to hack away at her credibility. You said that it could have been, for all you know, Trayvon Martin smashing George Zimmerman in the face is what you actually heard. What? Yeah, just earlier today. By who? By you. You ain't getting that from me. And in a jarring exchange, defense attorney Don West accused After the 19-year-old of lying about a letter she says she wrote to Martin's mother, explaining what she saw that night. You didn't even tell the prosecutor about it? No. West asked her to read the letter, which she had a friend help her write. She could not. Are you unable to read that at all? Some of them, I do not. Can you read any of the words? On it. I don't understand. Um, curses. I don't read curses. Later this morning, ABC News has learned jurors are expected to hear from this man, Chris Serino, the lead homicide investigator on the case. In the days after the shooting, Zimmerman, who pleaded not guilty, recorded this reenactment video showing Serino how he says Martin attacked him. He just kept slamming and slamming slamming his head into the pavement, saying he only shot in self-defense. Now, uh, Serino was skeptical of Zimmerman's claim that he had to shoot Martin because he was locked in some sort of life and death struggle. That's the reason he recommended manslaughter charges against Zimmerman. Now, Serino could take the stand later today. Josh. And we'll be watching Matt Gutman there in Sanford. We want to turn now to ABC's chief legal affairs anchor, Dan Abrams. And Dan, again, Rachel Gentel, more composed than the first day on that witness stand, but seven long hours being grilled. What did it do to the prosecution's Look, case? Look, she's a flawed witness. This is not the witness that you want mm -hmm. if you're the prosecution, and this is the last person that spoke to Trayvon Martin. Uh, there are inconsistencies in her story. As you heard, she was attacked again and again on cross-examination. With that said, you saw that se a section there where she talks about the fact she can't read cursive. She doesn't seem educated, but don't underestimate her. She was still smart in the sense that there were times when the defense attorney was trying to ask her questions to get her to admit things, and she caught it. She would say, no, no, wait, 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 wait. That's not what I said. And so, so while, while she's not someone who is, uh, you know, worldly, so to speak, she understood what she was being asked. She understood the questions, and she took on. Uh, the defense attorney again and again as he was trying to question her. Now, we've called Rachel Gentel the most important witness for the prosecution's case, but there was some more testimony yesterday that may have helped buttress the idea that uh, George Zimmerman was the aggressor here. Right. That's the big question. And another witness said that uh, she believed that George Zimmerman was the one who was on top when they were fighting. That's one of the key questions. Everyone agrees there was a confrontation. Yep. They don't agree exactly when did it start, where did it start, and who was on top. And the defense's position is that it was Trayvon Martin who attacked George Zimmerman. If the prosecution can show Zimmerman was on top, it's an important point.